What we're doing here, we're doing, um, let's get it started up. We're doing an RSS feed in an iPhone, and this is the type of thing we end up with. And um, I've got two tab bars, and there should be one. But oh, that's better laid out, isn't it? So that's the type of thing we're going to make, and uh, let's start. Hello, this is part two of the tutorial RSS feed. I'm doing it for the iPhone and I think the best way to start off this type of thing is the master detail application because it's got a lot of the don't use core data um, I'm just doing it for the iPhone it's got a lot of the necessary connections and wiring up already done in it so we just run it straight away and I'll just show you how it's um, got the right type of uh, structure. Right, so we can see this is our table view there with the cells in. And in this one we add some data. In our case it would be our RSS feed titles. And then when you click on it, it uses a segue to go to a navigation a view, an ordinary view and puts the date in there and you go back so in the RSS feed this here will become the text from the XML parser and this will put a web view so instead of getting the date it'll pass in a, a URL to this uh, detail and display it now there's two ways of doing it you can either throw up a Safari browser when you click on that or you can go into this uh, in-app browser because that gives you the ability to go backwards whereas the Safari browser, if you throw up Safari browser it, it just leaves you hanging and you can just, all you can do is close the browser and there's um, nothing and your application's gone so let's have a quick view, I can't give you all the codes, there's just too much of it but you really need um, to know which way to go in this now the, this title here is a basic one but you really want the one that gives you the ability to pass in mutable arrays and I use a subtitle is the easiest one then you pull it down a bit to make it bigger you give the title or the subtitle more lines to display the RSS feed and the title well if it's just a short title that's good enough as it is the segue is done already for you. Let's have a look at that. It's called show detail and it's a push. It's exactly what you want. So that's done already. Uh, what else on that? Uh, it's a dynamic prototype. If you look at the table view, it's a dynamic prototype. Okay, so once you've got the right one of those, your uh, mutable arrays are going to go into there quite easily and also all the code, most of the code is already in here for you to do that You've got all this table stuff um, to have cell for row and index and things like that is already in there you need to pull in a, a oh no the seg segways in there too so that's pretty handy now let's go to the, have a look at the detail view well for this one you need to drag in um, a web view instead it's dead easy to do that just find a web view scrape it in um, I put in a toolbar which actually gives me like two toolbars which is a bit overdoing it this this one at the top takes you back and this one uh, what does that do it allows you to stop reload and you can also put an activity indicator in that one but there should be a way to combine these two into one which I haven't done it yet I haven't had time but you, you don't want toolbars you just want one toolbar at the top I haven't done that yet it's two and then um, this connects into the detail view controller you have to connect the activity indicator into that and also you have to connect the um, web view into that 
um, you make an outlet. So that's your basic structure. The now the code in here, this master view, you have to use an XML parser. You choose which one you want to use, and I also recommend you use a threaded dispatch, which is a, like an asynchronous call on its own thread. And um, if you have a look at my blog, I've got to, there's a really good Apple have done a really really good one, which allows you to put blocks of code into another thread. And basically, you, you do the um, call, the call to the web server in that thread, and then it returns very nicely. And then um, that works very, very well, I find. So, I think um, if you're making one of these, art, you, I've at least given you a start on how to do it. And obviously, you've got to get all the code to go in these two. I can't go through all that, I'll be here for three weeks. But uh, that's your start, and then have a look at my blog, and I've got uh, more details there for you. Right, hope you enjoyed that. See you in the next video. Bye. If I can get out of here. Bye again.